Okay, this will probably be our last video for the review. Um, we got six more problems to do or to talk about of where they where you can find them. Okay, here's our heading. Um, M one oh five. Final exam. review and i think this is g okay number 35 is what we got to do we've done this stuff before but i want to show you this one anyway just to make sure it says you're not confused by it so this one we're actually doing on the on the on our on our review here um here's the question it's not really a complicated question under these circumstances with f of x like that what is f of a minus three so just make sure just want to make sure that you're not fooled by this so wherever you see x put a minus three you can put it in parentheses to be very careful but i don't need to put it in parentheses but on the next line where i see x i replace it with a minus three this time i definitely need a parentheses what do I get up on top? Seven and, and minus three is four plus a plus a. And what do I get over here? This um, we're not finished. Minus three. Distribute the four across the parentheses. Four times a is four a. Four times negative three is negative twelve. Let's clean this up. I assume Alex wants a first and then the plus four. Then on the bottom we got four a, and minus three and minus twelve is minus fifteen. We, there's nothing we can do about it. I can't, there's no number will go into 4 and negative 15, so I can't factor this and see if there's any, any simplifying or anything. There's no, there's nowhere to go. And therefore, this is my final answer. That's 35. Here comes 36. Calculate D. That means the dis, D for, big D for distance. That means you I need to remember the distance formula. Between the point that they're calling Q that point is the coordinates are negative 4, negative 4. You need the coordinates for, the, for this to work. For, you need that to feed your formula, the distance formula. And the other, for, the other thing they decided to call L, the other point, it doesn't really matter that much what they call them. And that point is 4, negative 7. Where should you find this? Go to exam. Exam number 2. Review B. Review B. Problem five. Problem five. Let me move up the paper to get to number 37. 30, what am I doing? 37. Um, so the equation of a circle, equation of circle, here you got it, x minus one squared, x minus 1 squared plus y uh, plus 4 squared equals 9. Okay, they want, the, we've seen this before, they want the center, that's a. They want the, uh, that means the coordinates of the center, right? An x coordinate, a y coordinate, you're going to get it from here. And they want the radius. That's that's r squared, not the radius. It's but you just take the square root of it to give you some hints. And where do you get the center from? The coordinates for the center, you get them from these two, the x coordinate, the y coordinate. You'll go see the video, and it'll tell you everything. So that's a and then b. They want the radius. So and then c, graph it, right? After you get the radius and after you get the um, the center, you can graph it, and graph the circle. And here is where you go see a problem pretty much exactly like this. Exam 2, review B, review B, problem number 8. Okay, we got room for on this page for, I think, one more at the bottom of the page, 38. A, the average rate of change. Average rate of change. Let me pick this up just to make sure that it's seen. Don't want this to be out of your sight. A average rate of change 
of f of x. Okay, what in f of x and where do they give you the function, of course, minus 2x two, two cubed plus 5x squared. And they got to give you the from, from where to where, from x equals 1 to x equals 3. Okay, where do you find this? And also simplify. In other words, if, there, if it's a reducible fraction, then simplify. Where do you find this? You find it in exam 2 review F, review F, exam 2. Okay. And the it's problem number 20. Problem number 20. Okay, we now need a, that was 38, we now need a new piece of paper. Let's carefully do this, I don't want to blow this. Go down here and get our new piece of paper. And if, let's go to 39. 39, up here, here we go, 39. Okay. 39, it, they show you a line. They show you a line. They obviously give you coordinates, right? So back, uh, let's say to negative 4, they'll have a much nicer one than I have. Let's say they go up 4, 1, 2, 3, 4. They go to the right 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. They'll be, they'll be much nicer. Um... And that's the y coordinate, the y axis. This is the x, x axis. They go down to negative 3, let's say. 1, 2, 3, go down to negative 3. Okay, and the line so it looks like something like this. Right? My lines are awful. They will show you a point, and they'll be very clear. Minus uh, negative 2 here, and that's a problem. It's positive 2 there. And they'll show you another point. Let's say it's over here, above the negative 4 and, above, and, and across from the 4. But they'll be very clear. And what will they ask you to do under these circumstances? They'll ask you to find the slope. So you go get the coordinates of those two points. Use the slope formula. Find slope of line of graph. Go get the coordinates of those two points. Look them up on, on a very clear graph that, graph that they'll give you. Then use the slope formula. And all of this can be found pretty much the exact same problem, exact type of problem. Exam 2, review C, problem number 10. Here comes 40, which I want to do with you. It's the last problem. And I want to do this with you. What do you have? H of x is equal to and it's a piece a piecewise defines the piecewise defined function comes in pieces as advertised so to speak negative one if x if x is less than or equal to negative one then h of x is, uh, is minus parentheses x minus one squared plus three if, those ifs are important, if the x is between negative 1, not including negative 1, but in, and between there and 2, including 2. And the last one is, it's 1 fourth x minus 1 fourth x minus 2 if x is greater than 2. If x is greater than 2. This is video. This can be found in video 55. You can look it up there. And here's our answers to this question. A, h of negative 4. h of negative 4 is, where is negative 4? Negative 4 is below negative 1, less than negative 1. So h of negative 4 is negative 1. That's the answer. Problem over. B, which is, what is h of negative 1? Okay, negative 1, well, less than or equal to, equal to negative 1. That's equal to negative 1 is also true, so it's also negative 1. Okay, C. 
what is h of 0? Okay, where's h of 0? Between negative 1 and 2, h is 0. That they'll follow, we follow this direction, this, uh, those directions. Minus, replace x with 0, minus 1 squared plus 3, plus 3. How much does that equal? That's minus, minus 1 squared. Let me bring this up. I want to make sure you can see all this. Okay, minus, minus 1 squared, plus 3, plus 3. And what's that? That's going to be minus, minus 1 squared is 1, so it's minus 1 plus 3, which is equal to 2, and there's the final answer. There's the problem. There's C. Okay, These, this whole review for the final exam is done. Many, many, some of the problems we've done, about 10 of them or something, and the other 30 would tell you exactly go to where to go, where to look to see a problem just like it. Almost exactly like it in most cases. Let's close this up.